Mandalorian Season 2 is getting so good and we're only three episodes in. Guys, seriously, if you haven't already, watch it. You're missing out. If you're new to my channel, be sure to stick around for the question of the day so you can be featured in my next video. And be sure to subscribe, like, and hit the bell icon. With that being said, enjoy. What's going on, my Knights of Hand? So last video, I reviewed a blue lightsaber, and I decided now to do a green lightsaber. <laughs> Which one? The Master Replica. Yes, Master Replica. Return of the Jedi, Luke Skywalker. <laughs> this is a genuine Master Replica. You know, it's an older model from an older batch. <laughs> In fact, this particular... Well, actually, no, not this particular one, but I did have the same lightsaber a long time ago, and it was my first Master Replica. Uh, unless you count my Anakin Skywalker, which was technically my dad's. So, you know what? I thought I'd go back in time and review it. Finally. <laughs> Without further ado, let's get on with it. By the way, my Knights of Hen, I'm doing a lightsaber giveaway at 1,000 subscribers. So be sure to tell all your friends, family, and droids to subscribe. Now on to the video. Alrighty, here we have the Luke Skywalker Force Effects Lightsaber Collectible by Master Replicas. Is it Master Replica or Master Replicas? It's replicas. <laughs> now I will say, you know, with this lightsaber, you know, it is an older one. The hilt has definitely seen, you know, better days. So uh, I'm going to be a bit more forgiving. But overall, it's pretty decent. Now I did say I did get the exact same one ages ago. I actually picked this particular one at Supernova Brisbane uh, last year, 2019. Now some of you are probably wondering, oh, do you still have your original one? <laughs> I do. You you want to see it this is what's left of it right here <laughs> oh man um so if you're wondering you know force effects lasers are they doable durable sorry <laughs> here's your answer i was just even swinging it around and it hit something and the blade came off i took it out and you know what i was like you know what let's just turn it into like a prop of some sort you know i may use it in future videos who knows who knows and you know being a master replicas that means it came with the good stand oh yeah we'll get more into that in a bit here's some of the other i guess paperwork to kind of authenticate it you know if you had a master replicas back in the days you know this will definitely take you back you know and um we'll we'll see it in a minute or later on but uh this lightsaber actually uses six double a batteries which is really cool i think back in the days this was considered the brightest force effects lightsabers you know at the time uh, i don't know if that still applies to the black series one i do not have the black series one here we go master replicas and you got like the little booklet thing and has a list of the 0.45 scaled ones and the other ones i really want to get my hands on one of this darth vader episode 5 one has all this other stuff in there yeah no this really does take me back <laughs> i got that one when i was like eight years old <laughs> this is really part of my childhood i got it as a part of a birthday present which is cool cool so if this was uh fresh out of the box you know mint you know if this was an unboxing this is polished but uh, for some reason, these don't seem to be as polished. I'm going to go ahead and assume, because I don't remember at all with the other one that I showed you guys before. But I'm assuming these were meant to be just as polished. If not, uh, that would be strange. Because if we look here, the grip here, whatever, has lost its polish. And it is the exact same metal. I don't know if uh, Master Replicas was just lazy and didn't polish it. But uh, <laughs> the choke points seem to have... Uh, maintained its polish it is a bit polished still but uh obviously it has seen better days so yes i'm assuming it's meant to be a polished hilt not as polished as say your revenge of the sith anakin skywalker but you know polished we can see here in the picture like it's showing that it's meant to be polished so uh, i wanted to talk about the ignition box you know that's what i'm gonna call it right so you got your green that indicates you know on and then red off so well we'll, we'll fire it up in a minute guys just bear with me but uh i used to think this was just a plastic turns out it's just like a kind of 
printout thing they just kind of slapped on which is a bit disappointing not gonna lie but whatever it <laughs> it fooled me for all these years you know until i got this one this uh what you're seeing here now is how it came for me this is obviously a second probably even a third hand lightsaber so as mentioned before it has the original master replica stand and i think even hasbro used it with the signature series uh again i really wish they stuck to this stand this stand is just so much more sexier i mean just look at it unlike that transparent garbage we've got now with black series you got your like little triangle ring thing where he's technically clipping the lightsaber on to his belt which is cool so it's kind of it's a it's a bit flimsy so you might have to be a little bit careful you know if you have one of these or even even if you have the black series one and the hilt's pretty consistent all around so yeah yeah you know it is not a kind of authentic look you know compared to the smoothie version of this hilt But nonetheless, I still really like it because it still has like that retro lightsaber look. I mean, just look at it. I don't mind it at all. <laughs> now the choke point under the emitter, you know, obviously has seen better days. It's meant to be all orange. I think it's not painted on. I think it's kind of like a wrap. But yeah, if you do have one of these, I do recommend be careful with it as, you know, it is easy to kind of tear off some bit. But if you like that kind of worn out look, you know, I'm pretty sure in the movies, you know, it did have a worn out look. It, it was even black in the movies then. Yeah. <laughs> Here we go at the bottom. 2005 Lucasfilm Limited. 2005 Master Replicas Inc Incorporated. <laughs> All right, let's go ahead and fire it up. So it does have that classical Master Replicas sound. It's not the best soundboard. It, it doesn't really sound all that well compared to some sabers you have nowadays. But at its time, you know, it... <laughs> Honestly, I I know this is meant to be a review of my honest thoughts, but oh man, it just this is just really thro uh, giving me a major throwback. In a case, I guess this is kind of like going through memory lane for me, you know, as a kid. This lightsaber seriously is special to me. The sound is quite loud, you know, much louder than the Force Effects Elites so far. And then of course you got the Clash. If it'll even do it, hang on. There it is. Not too bad, not too bad. Smooth swing is there, but it's nearly non-existent. <laughs> so I've gone ahead and just removed the pommel to get to the batteries and look at that. Two, four, and six double A batteries. Uh, I'm gonna assume, I could be wrong, I'm gonna assume this is why it was considered the brightest Force Effects Master Replicas lightsabers of the time because it just used more batteries right now i'm using cheap batteries you know i'm just using those everyday ones uh, but it, it does the job it could be brighter but you know if i were to put on like more expensive batteries oh you would see a difference for sure but even then it's still pretty bright for what it is so we got the pommel here you know i'm gonna assume the black series one is quite similar you know <laughs> basically black series are just meant to be like re-releases and obviously they make some changes maybe with sound uh some designs i don't know to be honest <laughs> like i said i can't really do a comparison because i do not have the black series version of this only this one and with that being said i don't think this is the first kind of master replicas batch because this box although it's a master replica there was another box design which i'm assuming is the first batch because that batch had the attack of the clones anakin skywalker lightsaber which i think is the first master replica instead i've got kind of a more updated box so yeah i'm gonna say this is a more newer recent <laughs> uh master replicas batch probably the last one also you know like i don't think master replicas made any more lightsabers after this i don't recall any other box designs you know i don't actually have that much bad things to say about this could be me being biased but yeah this was my first kind of force effects lightsaber ever well technically that one was but uh no this particular design or character you know i like the retro classic look you know i think this is considered retro now <laughs> the design of it anyway it's not an exact you know one-to-one -one scale or kind of accurate screen look <laughs> 
um, you know, for instance, the choke point, you know, is a lot fatter than the movie version. Though, come on, guys, it's force effects. We should know this by now. <laughs> they always make some bits bigger or more stubbier. And like, oh, that reminds me, the movie one actually has like a, like kind of like a thing here for the blade, but this one's just flat. <laughs> it, you you know what I'm talking about, hopefully. <laughs> but yeah, no guys, uh, this is really just a throwback for me. I always wanted to talk about this lightsaber on the channel for a while now. I've had this lightsaber, as I said, since Brisbane Supernova. That's where I got it, uh, along with the construction kit, which I consider my worst lightsaber I own to date. Uh, link in the bio. But uh, no, yeah, guys, uh, a trip down memory lane. Uh, maybe I will get the Black Series one if I can even find it, maybe at a different con or something. The sound's got that real old school force effects noise you know i i love it <laughs> it's not the best sound but whatever you know at the time this was like a game changer the, you know stuff like this is what kicked off you know custom sabers because you know they weren't durable and people were like oh you know let's make something durable <laughs> i guess that's it for this video not too much to really say about it other than look i've got a master replicas let's see what it was like back then you know, Black Series lightsabers, you know, all, I will go out on a limb and say their technology may be slightly better, but it's pretty, like, not far off. You know, it's not far off at all. I will say Black Series soundboards are more, you know, up to date, they're more modern, um, not as muffled, you know, this does sound muffled a bit. I don't think the camera's doing it justice, but in real life, if you really pay attention to it, it does have a muffled kind of noise to it, but, you know, at its time. This was good. <laughs> and you know what? I will say it is still good up to now. People still rock up to the theaters whenever there's a new Star Wars movie with original Master Replicas lightsaber. So, you know, people still have these. Uh, if they sell it, you know, you're gonna be looking at paying a pretty high price. Uh, if you wanna save money, I do recommend just going for like a black series. You know, people are selling these for up to like 600 plus. I don't know if that's how much they're actually worth, but seriously, like go on eBay and stuff and you'll see like Master Replicas, maybe like 500, 600. Uh, the Anakin Attack of the Clones one, I've seen go up to like a grand. It's insane. <laughs> so in the end, do I really recommend it? Uh, me personally, I'm gonna say yeah, you know, uh, it's an original Master Replicas, not the very first one, but it is a, a product from when Master Replicas was still doing it, so it's a part of history. Star Wars history, I guess you could say. I mean, this was pre-Disney, guys. <laughs> Comes with, like, a Master Replica. I guess you can consider it a certificate of some sort, but eh, there's no kind of official certificate for it, but I guess you got this to kind of prove it. <laughs> Comes with the good stand. And all around is a cool saber. And all right, guys, that is my review for the Master Replicas Luke Skywalker Return of the Jedi. I will see you with the question of the video. So before we get on to the question of the video, last video I asked you guys, you know, what was your favorite Obi-Wan Kenobi quote? <laughs> and this is what y'all said. <laughs> My question for this video. Now, I feel like this is gonna be a tricky question to some people. <laughs> Which Luke Skywalker do you like better? Legends or canon, Disney canon? Ooh. For me, this is a bit hard. Um, at first, I would have been like, oh, straight away, Legends. <laughs> now, despite what happened with the sequels, you know, there are still some stuff I like about Luke Skywalker's arc. But in general, uh, my favorite Luke Skywalker, Luke Skywalker, would be, you know, from the original trilogies, some of the comics. But uh, if I had to choose, it would be Legends, you know. I get a more Luke Skywalker-esque feel out of Legends. <laughs> but anyway, guys, let me know in the comments below to be featured in the next video. And as always, my Knights of Hen, may the Force be with you. <laughs>